Oh, we're over here at Kennedy High School. Check this out. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Maddie, look at this. Women in the workforce. Sorry, women in school, high school machine. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, workforce, she's not even out of school yet. But, like, you're making <laughs> parts. Pretty yeah. cool, right? Yeah. That's awesome. What are you making now? Um, I'm making a part in this rocket series. Making rocket parts. That's awesome. Is yeah. this the first one you ever did? No. So you've done more? Yeah. Do you have any of them? Yeah, I have a bunch of them. Oh, man, look at... This is the start of the rocket, and then these That's are a couple awesome. extras. Can you can you lift it up and put it yeah. towards the camera and explain what they are? Oh, look at this! So, Tyson, if you're out there, check this out. The <laughs> rocket series. So um, this is the start of the rocket. A couple of them need second ops so that they'll start okay. threading in better. And then these are a couple extra parts that had some malfunctions or surface okay. finish errors. So, That's yeah. That's awesome. And what, it's like a snowman right there. <laughs> Oh, you got the snowman in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the robotics team, and so we're making snowmen, and we're going to sell them as a fundraiser for it. Oh, that's awesome. You know we have an academy contest, right? We're giving away a lot of <laughs> prizes. We got over $25,000 worth of prizes. I didn't know. Yes, it's an academy ornament contest. So, like, you should talk to your teacher and try to make something happen. Yeah. Super good. Yeah. Awesome. So. So you almost have a whole rocket right there. Yeah, I need one more part at the very end of it, and then a couple second ops. That's awesome. And then it'll be done. So how many how many parts total, like of the rocket? There's ten parts in the rocket. Yeah, there's nine here. There's some spacers, so it kind of doesn't look like there's nine, but awesome. there's yeah. And nine. then what is this part in here? This is the you this said this is another 89L. I wanted to make another one to experiment with the pressure on it because we have a hydraulic chuck. And so every time we put it in there, it's been crushing the surface finish, which isn't okay. good. So I've been experimenting with pressures, figure awesome. out which one works best. Cool. Do you guys have a, like a 5C at all or just the hydraulic? A hydraulic, yeah. OK. So how long have you been machining? I'm a junior, so I've been machining for about three years. Three years? Yeah. How do you like it? It's fun, yeah. Is I've always fun? liked the lathes. That's awesome. Yeah. And so you just. You take raw stock, put it in there, mm -hmm. you progress, so you program it, design it, do the yeah. whole thing? Yeah. That's awesome. How many parts total? Like, how many hours do you think you've been on this machine in your lifetime? That's a lot to calculate. A lot? I've been on the robotics team for three years as well, and so I stay here till about 10 o'clock every night, if okay. you were to, like, average about 10 o'clock awesome. every so night you, of the so, week. So you're not only making, like, rocket parts, but you're actually making parts for your robot. Yeah that are functional, yeah. and you guys go out and compete and travel all over America and stuff. Yeah. And, and I'm also on the drive team, so I get to drive the robot in competitions too. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> they're going to show me the robot in a little bit. That's cool. Like, they're making CNC machine parts to solve their own problems so that they can compete with other teams all over the place and make it happen. Yeah, it's fun. That's awesome. So what do you love most about manufacturing? I just like subtractive manufacturing of taking something and then cutting down into it to make it something else awesome. that serves a purpose. Is it too hard for is it too hard for women in, to do? No. How come you don't see more women like in like CNC machining? I'm not sure. Probably I an think. awareness problem maybe. Sure, yeah. Maybe maybe they don't know that, you know, CNC machining you're actually making rocket parts and making submarines and making like yeah. everything in between. Like just yeah. you know, and it's a good paying wage where your mind makes things happen. So yeah. if you you know, if you're not going to college and you're not set, it's, it's something great that you can actually do and make good money. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do when you get out of uh, high school? Um, I'd like to go to college and then while I'm in college, be working for a machine shop. That's so, awesome. Yeah. You're going to go into engineering or like anything? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Yeah? I'm That's not sure awesome. which branch of engineering yet. There are so many. That's cool. But, yeah. You just got to set that vision. You got to set that vision and you just need to do things in your life just knowing that you're going there. And by saying, I'm doing this, it already gets you one step ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's so many times that people say, like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. But they might not be able to, but you have your own talents and your own gifts. So you just have to set those goals and then make it happen. Yeah. Perseverance right? will help perseverance. you. Perseverance. Ah, yeah. perseverance. So good. Yeah. Boom. Awesome. So 
can we uh, see a little bit about what's, are you ready to run apart? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm gonna flip this thing around. I'm gonna touch it off really quick. Okay, yeah, ends. of course. Okay. And make sure you double check everything. We don't want you to crash <laughs> on TV. <laughs> That'd be good. Oh. I'm telling you, if you ask Energy 735, I could see this part, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then there it is. Can you grab it? Yeah, it's the door will move in a minute. So first we faced it to get a smooth surface and then did a profile with an outside diameter tool um, and just went over all of this and then all of, over all of this. And then we took a grooving tool to make the little grooves in there. But once that was done, we went over with another profile as a finishing pass okay. to smooth it out since the grooves kind of leave a burr. And then um, we took a tapping, a threading tool, and it just goes over passes along this and continues gradually cutting deeper and deeper into it until it gets the thread pitch correct. And then a part off tool came and cut the final thing off. That's awesome. Yeah. How did you learn how to actually run the rocket parts? Um, I learned through, I watched a video for the first one and then um, used that to help me with the other ones. And then if I got stuck, I watched the video. You know my son then? Yeah, Tyson. Tyson. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, was it helpful? Because he, yeah. just, he just teaches you how to do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you just gotta, you gotta like put the time in, you gotta put the effort, have determination, and then like learn it and then go after like a good company. You know, like there's so many amazing companies now that are making parts. Yeah. Pretty awesome. So do you guys actually have the rocket kit? Yeah, we do. We have the whole Kenna Metal toolkit in here. So basically, Kenna Metal Academy rocket kit, and it had all the tools, and that's how you're making those parts. Yep. All right, boom. boom. Great job. Oh.